In a previous video, which was one minute long, called a Shorts, YouTube's new format, I showed you about this tool right here that can detect electricity and possibly save your life. Now I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth about it, how to use it properly. Because if you don't use it properly and take proper precautions, you could still get injured. We're going to do that next. Okay, thanks for stopping by my channel here at That Kilted Guy Videos. And I'm going to give you some basic procedures that I use. Now, these aren't to say this is the only safety procedures. When you're working around electricity, you have to be careful. There's a lot to take into consideration. And so this isn't the only thing you should do. But it's what I normally do. And I think it covers the electrical safety pretty decently. And hey, if you like to learn these kind of things like drywall repairs and general home improvement stuff, be sure and subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by June, so I hope you'll help me out. And we're going to crank out a lot of videos this year. Okay, anytime you're working with electricity, the number one safety, safety thing you can do is to just cut the electric off. If you can do it, cut your main off. Just kill all the power anytime you're messing with raw, open electrical circuits of any kind. What this is for is kind of a safety tool to detect if maybe you've got electrical somewhere that you didn't think you have, or I'll give you some other scenarios here in a second. So like one scenario that I use often is when I'm doing something like drywall repairs, and maybe I'm doing popcorn ceiling removal, etc. And you're pulling your lights down off the ceiling. You're often left with these two dangling wires to come back to when you put your light back up. Now this is just a cheap extension cord. I cut the ends off so we don't have black and white here, but it will serve the same purpose. And you should have wire nuts on them and you might even want to tape them because if these come off and sometimes they do because they're Wire nuts are often meant to hold two or three wires together. So if you put that same one back on, it's often too loose. This is a smaller wire nut meant for smaller wires. Therefore, it holds pretty decent on one wire. So that's one issue that can happen. So let's just say you get your repairs done, whatever you're doing, you come back to put your light on. Now you're not sure if you got electric here or not. That's kind of what this is for. So like in this case, you turn this thing on, you go up here and check, you don't get any signal here, you're probably pretty safe. But what you wanna do is you wanna check it against a known power source. Like in this case, we've got this extension cord here, it's plugged in. Okay, that tells me this thing is working properly. It's detecting electricity. Check it here and it doesn't. Does that mean you're 100% safe to just go ahead and work on this thing? No, never trust that. The only thing to trust is when you've cut off all the power. Then you can trust that this is safe. But otherwise, use this as a just a test to see if most likely it's not there. Now, what I like to do is let's say this is a light. I like to go flip a switch and you go over and flip the switch and I'm just gonna plug it in to simulate flipping the switch. You come back and check, nothing there. Oh, we got power now. Now have somebody stand over there and flip that switch back off. It went off. Now you know you're pretty dang safe. Now where you can get in trouble with this especially is three ways because if you pay attention to a three way switch where you can turn your light on or off from different locations, you know that sometimes the switch is down, but it's on. Other times it's up and it's on because of the way three-way switches work. So you can't trust where that switch is at. Here's the other reason I like these. What if I turned it off, I checked, there was no power, I worked on it, but I came back a day later. What if somebody flipped that switch on by accident and went, oh, nothing and walked off. Now it's hot and I don't even know it. So before I even touch these, 
I want to check with this and again verify it against a known power source. That gives you a better idea if you've got electricity there. The other, there's a lot of other uses for this, like you might open up a wall, see some electrical wiring in there and wonder, is this even hot? Because sometimes wall uh, wiring just gets left inside of walls, gets cut off this end, this end, it's a dead wire. You can check it with this, so same thing, check it, go against something else like an outlet, you can use it on these outlets and it will tell you the same thing. I'm sure you probably can't see that on video, but that's detecting that is hot so then you come over and check that wire you're concerned about and if it doesn't go off it's most likely dead now again don't assume a hundred percent but if you're just going to bury it you're wondering if you should just leave it you kind of know if you absolutely want to know there are some electrical testers where you can actually touch the ends of the wires and tell if it's got power and i've got one of those and it looks like this one in the picture here. And I'll put a link to all this stuff in the description down below. But another way you can do it is just with a multi-tester. A multi-tester like this tests DC volts and DC amps. And it also tests just plain voltage AC volts right there. So you can just touch these on there and check it. But you got to be careful with electricity because it can fool you sometimes. Another way that it can fool you is I've had this thing detect static electricity. It is electricity. This thing's pretty sensitive. It's just a plastic tip. But sometimes if you touch things wrong, you can get a false signal, which indicates that it's hot. So you would be careful, but you can possibly get a signal saying there's no electricity there when there is. So just be careful. It's, it's, if you use it right, it's a good tool. Hey, I hope that helped you out again. As always, I'm trying to help you guys learn how to do your own home improvement projects and so on. And if you like this content, be sure and give us a thumbs up. And I really appreciate a comment down below. That helps drive the algorithm, which makes YouTube show our videos more. And we also have a lot of good information down in the description, as well as several ways you can show your support for our channel. As always, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, everybody.